Hello, Libras. We are going to get six oracle cards for you using their fair evolution growth oracle deck. I'm doing that hopefully for every zodiac. I don't know if I'm going to have the patience, but we will see. Take this off so you know. I am not picking. Okay. God, angels, benevolent, loved ones in heaven. Thank you. What the? Could I get, like, hold on a second. That was a bunch at the same time. God, angels, benevolent, loved ones in heaven. Thank you. Ooh, got two, okay. What do, I, what do all the fellow Libras need to know? Okay. Advice, what they need to know, what they're working on. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on a second. <laughs> Leadership. Look. Look what that look came out. Okay, we're gonna take that out. Hell yes. And abundance. I like that. I don't know if I want but that one was that one was showing. Let's see what the other two are. Ooh. Okay. So for the first three cards, we have creativity, distorted view, and leadership. Creativity discovery. It says, one of the ways the divine wants to connect with you is through creative expression. Libras are known to be very creative and romantic, and they love all things beautiful, whether it's music, art, color, whatever. <clears throat> it gets you out of your busy mind to feel, listen, and know how best to flow the energy through you. You're being called to tap into your creative side to reconnect and discover many challenges. I'm being called out right now. I could feel my mom mom calling me out too because I'm a Libra. But yeah, for all the fellow Libras, be open to the process and let it flow without judging yourself. So allow yourself to be creative and in the moment, okay? Now, the middle card is a little bit harder energy to deal with, but I'll read it. It says, distorted view perspective. A change in perspective is needed to view you or the situation with compassion. The root core of pain is often associated with how you may view yourself or the situation from a wounded place. Yeah, it's a distorted lens. When you've been traumatized, you have PTSD, betrayal, whatever. I can go down the whole list of things that people have, which I don't want to right now. Yeah, it does affect the way you see your world. It literally affects the way you see the world. If your lenses are distorted, it's very difficult to see and um, things any other way if you haven't experienced good things before. But you have to give yourself space to experience good things. And the only way to do that is to allow yourself to be creative and to do what is necessary what is necessary to fix your distorted lenses. Um I tried to fix my bangs and I don't know. I think because my hair is wavy and I straighten my bangs that they're all choppy and I messed it up. But anyway, that's a side thing. Good thing hair can grow. I should probably go to a real head hairdresser. It's been a while. <sighs> and I'm wheezing. Choosing to heal this brings the broken pieces back together to create a healthy viewpoint. Right. So you need to focus Libras, okay? My fellow Libras. Focus on allowing yourself to be in the moment, be creative, and letting energy and emotion, energy and emotion and thoughts flow through you. But do not be controlled by your fears. Do not be controlled by your traumas or your distorted perceptions. Maybe acknowledge that you have a distorted perception and then you can go see a professional about that, okay? I would recommend that. And also, you should talk to other people that are healthy for you. That'll help you get out of that distorted mindset, okay? Now, the third card says leadership. Forefront. You have the opportunity to take the lead. It may be in work, personal, or family situations. You have the wisdom and knowledge to do what is best at the time. No more playing it safe and blending in with the pack. Shine your light and speak your truth. I love that car. Shine your light and speak your truth, okay? You have the skills, the abilities, the aptitude, the wisdom to be in a leadership role, okay? 
Do not play small. Do not self-doubt. Do not underestimate yourself, okay? What else do Libras need to know? Change is coming. What kind of change is coming? What kind of It's a surprise. What's this one? Taking the leap. Courage. You have to let go of something good to get something great. Uh. Taking the leap into the unknown can be scary. But you are being called to have faith in yourself and the universe. If you want to experience the next level of success, you cannot stay comfortable. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Change is coming. But you have to let go of what you're comfortable with to get something even better. Hmm. Interesting. I want to know what it is. Didn't actually hurt me. Spirit guidance, co-creation, okay. I feel like a lot of Libras are taking that courageous leap forward to co to co-create with the divine. That means you are not being passive, okay? You're not just, you know, sometimes it's good to go with the flow and just effortlessly attract good things, okay? But this means that you are taking action and working together with the divine. <sighs> okay. A little wheezy. Oh. oh, I'm gonna read this. I forgot to do that. Spirit Guidance Co-Creation. Do you see how she has that gorgeous orb of light? Yeah. You're tapping into the divine consciousness. The divine collective, the divine consciousness. That's what that's what I'm hearing right now. It says, your spirit guides and guardians are here to assist you and to help you evolve into your authentic self. What are you trying to tell me right now? Because they're interrupting me. All right. In time, you will see changes. What else? Okay, it could be that you're pushing too fast. So Libras, it could be that you're pushing forward too quickly and you just need to focus on a few things, okay? So you need to focus on correcting and healing your distorted view of the world and of yourself, okay? So focus on healing that perspective that is based off of things that you have gone through, okay? <sighs> Get the therapy you need, the support you need, accept people helping you. I know that can be very difficult, but just just accept it, okay? Because every strongest warrior also needs their army, their friends, their confidants, okay? Both in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm, okay? And you also do need to focus on being in the moment and letting your creative and emotional energies flow, okay? <sighs> yeah <clears throat> the time is is now to see yourself as your spiritual team sees you oh they ask that you remove all limiting thoughts and open yourself up to them meditation and asking for signs are a great <laughs> are a great way to deepen your connection So they're going to help you with your distorted perspective, okay? They are helping you with your distorted perspective, but you have to allow them to help just as you need to allow other human beings to help you, okay? Yeah. What really... You might have a distorted perception of your abilities, of your appearance, of your worth, of your value, okay? But now it's time to look at yourself through the eyes of who your spiritual loved ones or how they see you, okay? It's very challenging, but it's not impossible. 
And as you co-create with them, you're going to get a healthier perspective of the world, of yourself, of the divine, and of everything. Why did you want me to pick that one? <clears throat> stuck energy, alignment. You have stuck energy that can be caused by holding on to pain ugh, or having resistance to let new energy flow in. Get grounded and reconnected to your body once again. So with the creativity, oh, okay. Remember how they said you're letting, you need to let energy and emotions flow? It said that. Okay, so through creativity, through creativity, Libras, you're going to be releasing this stuck energy so that you can get realigned energetically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, in all the ways, okay? Yeah. As you let your emotions and your thoughts and your experiences and your pain flow through you in a creative way, you're allowing new energy to be able to enter and access you and heal you, okay? So that's what I have for you, Libras. Here you can take a little look at the, all the pitch, all the images there. You see? Okay. You can do this. Bye.